Thank you, Brother. Huh? Uh, we have uh, 10 minutes uh, of uh, soup serving time, and then we take a break, okay? So I just want to talk quickly about the risk, risk of this soup. Rina? Uh, Rina? And uh, uh, maybe Sabsan? Sabsan? I found the uh, online information. Uh, this radish is produced the uh, farmer near my house. And uh, JA, the Japan Farmers Association, organizing a, a, like a rad radiation exposure test. And, uh, and actually, this radish is uh, under. 10 background, that's like a unit of uh, uh, radiation component, I think. But the, uh, the radiation effect is very, very unclear. As I said in my talk, the internal radiation, especially by eating, you know, or uh, intake, is very, very tricky and. Uh, you know, the, uh, in the many uh, civic centers in Japan, they try to have a good machine, but not all of them have a very good machine to uh, test thoroughly, you know. And also, the, you know, that the radioactive substances are buried uh, in things. And uh, if uh, strontium could be uh, tested, or, you know, a lot of government uh, centers cannot test strontium. You know, mostly like a cesium or, you know, so, you know, the radioactivity is very, very unknown, and the effects by intake is very, very unknown, too. So I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> My, that, that's good. And uh, I am going to eat it, and uh, my, my mother and uh, brother also eat, but it's up to you. And uh, what do you think? What I'm, whether I'm going to eat. Yeah, I'm going to eat because I heard the small, small portion is okay. <laughs> it's a propaganda of the state and of the corporations that small amount is okay, but it's not true. Also, it takes much longer to measure uh, uh, bigger amounts. The bigger the amount, the longer it takes, hours and hours to measure it. So, I think uh, we can open this discussion and we pray chapter seven, please. Uh, do you want to say something? Well, 10 back rails is w way below the, the allowed um, uh, figures in the Netherlands. So the chance is that you get it anyway. And this was produced the south, 60 kilometers south of Fukushima. So it's not the north, the high exposure area. And uh, uh, it's yum, yum, yum. yum. You know chapter seven? Uh, and chapter seven, this pimp, pimp character will actually visit Fukushima nuclear power plant. Gabriela, what, 
What time we should start next section? There's a little technical problem for him. We can distribute the uh, uh, soup. Ah, Hannah, do you want to talk about soup a little bit? Sure. Yes, the soup that I've been preparing is a... Uh, yum yum soup. It's very yummy actually. And uh, it contains uh, carrots. And we can just pass around and if you don't want to eat, please uh, saturate it, keep saturating. Maybe it's also okay, you know, uneated food saturating people. You can smell or eat. It's carrots, uh, coriander, chili. 100% uh, veggie, veggie soup bay. Yes, it's tofu. There's no meat at all. Fresh vegetables. <laughs> Chapter seven. We have a couple of nice students, so please come back. With chapter seven, we announce the break. See you afternoon. <laughs> so. not going to begin. I just like to introduce once again about what's happening next to me here, especially people who are in the back. Um, so Hana was cooking the soup with uh, what is it? Radish, dried radish from Fukushima in Japan, sent by uh, mothers of A. And as checked by Geiger, um, a, a measuring system, it was under 100 
something which is very um, known to be very low, which considered to be non-threatening in uh, like Dutch standard. But whether you can take it or not, whether you consider it safe to eat or not, is questionable. Under 10. <laughs> it's under 10. Irene, would you say it's still dangerous? For sure. Um, The question is like, what kind of uh, radioactive substance, substances this particular machine counted? Because not, there are varied kind of machines. Some are very expensive, and not all communities, even government centers or like the civic centers, can have the best machine that yeah. can, can count every yes. all so kinds of radioactive substances. <laughs> And often it's not Japanese, here, it's more Thai. So the most dangerous kind, they don't count. That's the half life is the longest, you know? And a lot of information there. And also government standards shift from 20 to 10. I mean, there's a protest and they, they reduce and then, you know, go to, try to go back again. I mean, it's a political choice. So, you know, like it's a war of information and also war of representation. It's about finally about health, but it might not happen anything. It's fine, maybe fine. But you just did a political choice by your own. And this kind of political battle is going on in Japan. Okay? And also many like food chain stores uh, uh, you know, advertise that we should eat Fushima food to support the local industries. Okay, it sounds great. Maybe if you want to support, you do it. But also, this is a choice of you accept nuclear state or not. So those who just had a soup accepted. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take the soup yet. <laughs> 